Hi, I updated my granite material pack for EVN Cycles to Blender 2.92. Blender 2.92 has many performance improvements and if you can, you should upgrade. The blend file of the granite material pack includes two types of granite. The standard gray granite with blue and brown tones and this pink granite called Meissner granite, which has a very different, almost marble-like look. Here you can see the two materials side by side and close up. The materials are 100% procedural and built into reusable node groups, exposing all the settings needed to fine tune the look, like the overall roughness, adding pits to the surface or reflective crystal inclusions. The file comes with a complete scene, including this Sphinx statue and demonstrates that the granite materials can easily be used to build even more complex setups, like adding green moss based on dirty vertex colors. And here I'm using the Meissner granite, shifting the base colors to darker shades using the same dirt map I used for the moss on the gray granite. To use the materials in your own scenes, you can use the awesome new asset browser in 2.92, which in and of itself is a reason to upgrade to 2.92. Really anything can be an asset, any object, collection, world settings and of course materials. Using asset libraries is very easy. Pick a folder on your system where you want to put assets to reuse in Blender projects and add that folder or possibly multiple folders to the asset libraries in the file path's preferences. You can also name each library. That's all. Now simply copy the downloaded crispy granite 29.blend file to that folder and you're done. You can now use the granite materials in any scene in Blender. Let me demonstrate. I go to File, New, General. This is my feature packed startup file by the way, link is in the description. Now I want this shader ball to be made out of granite. All I have to do is open the asset browser, switch from current file to my asset library, Go to shading and here we have the two granite shaders. Now I simply drag and drop the gray granite onto the sphere and the red granite onto the base. This new asset browser is freaking awesome. A quick note I have to mention at this point. Not sure if this will change in the future, 2.92 is still in alpha at the time of this recording, but at the moment if you drag the material onto another object, a new material slot is created. So now I actually have two gray granite materials. To avoid this, I can instead, of course, simply assign the existing material to other objects. Now here you can see that using the generated coordinates is not optimal, since each object now has a different scale in the granite pattern. To avoid this, we can use, for example, the world center empty from my startup file and use that object's coordinates. Now this looks much better. You can download the new material pack with a much improved look compared to the previous version and much cleaner node trees from blendermarket.com slash creators slash crisp. Gold tier patrons have access to all my materials and can instantly download the new pack from patreon.com slash crisp. Thanks for watching, crisp out.